Hey everybody, it's great to see you. Welcome to Kids Worship. We are so glad that you joined us today for Palm Sunday. Hey, hey wait, wait a minute. What? What? I think something's going on on the news. Oh, there, there's my. a news flash. Yes. Hold on, kids. We, we, okay. we got to check this out. All right. Let me turn the TV on here. Okay, go ahead. Oh, 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 <clears throat> yes. Hello, everybody. I am reporter Has Been, and you are watching Jerusalem Live. And I'm reporter Tim Witz. Thank you so much for joining us today. The entire town has been in an uproar this Passover season. Not only do we have record crowds of people coming in from all over the world to celebrate, there is a new element to the event which is causing quite a stir. Dim? That is right, has been. Jesus of Nazareth, a prophet, some say, He's the Son of God, our Messiah. He's entered the city, and it's quite the spectacle. Yes, uh, Dimwitz, I have witnessed a lot in my years of broadcasting, but I've never seen anything like this. Jesus was riding into town on a donkey, and there were literally over 10,000 people lining the road into the city to welcome him. And not only that, Everybody was throwing their cloaks on the ground in front yes. of Jesus and waving palm branches in the air. And they were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And that did not make the religious leaders happy at all. Nevertheless, the sights, the sounds, it was just all overwhelming. What? What? I believe our producers have come up with a short video of the okay. events that just happened. Let's cut to that now. The story of Easter, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. 
The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, Who is this? And the crowds replied, It's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry, just as God said he would many years before. Welcome back live. This is Dimwit reporting. That was a very informative video, but it does raise some very important questions. With me now is Dr. William, I don't know. He is lead professor of the Useless College Institute of Jerusalem. Dr. I don't know, it's so good of you to join us on such a monumental day. Well, it is my pleasure, Mrs. Dimwitz. Good to be with you. The video clip we just saw explains a lot, but also it raises some questions that maybe you can yes, help us with, yes. Doctor. For example, was this triumphal entry, as some have called it, foretold by the prophets? Well, yes, it most certainly was. As a matter of fact, the Old Testament prophet Zechariah prophesied, which is why he's called a prophet, because if he didn't prophesy, he wouldn't be known as a prophet. But nevertheless, I regress. He prophesied in Zechariah 9.9. Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey. So as you can clearly see, the events of this day were foretold by God long, long ago. Well, now I have another question, Dr. Yes. I don't know. What did Jesus mean when he said that if people would not praise him, the very rocks would cry yeah. out? Well, we could surmise two things from that. Uh, first of all, we understand that this day when Jesus rode into town was a very special day mm -hmm. because he was presenting himself to Israel as her king and messiah. But we can also decipher from this that from here on out, we should never hesitate to praise Jesus because he is our king and our savior and therefore worthy of our praise. That certainly makes sense. Hold on, wait a minute. I have just gotten word that we have a short clip of the kids from Salina Nazarene doing just that, praising Jesus. Thank you, Dr. I don't know, for joining us. My pleasure, Mrs. Dimwitz. Let's go to the clip now. Thank you for that very informative interview, Mrs. Dimwitz, and our thanks also goes out to Dr. I Don't Know. Well, I believe we're starting to get a grip on what exactly is happening here today, 
And so I'm just going, wait, hold on, hold on. My producer's talking to me. Hold on, yeah. Okay, yes, it is confirmed. Yes, I believe we have an interview with someone who was at the actual event of Jesus' triumphant entry. Mrs. Dimwit, Mrs. Dimwit, can you hear me? Mrs. Dimwit, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, has been. I can hear you. I'm here live with an actual participant of Jesus' triumphal entry. Sir, what is your name? Uh, my name is Kirk Plunk. Okay, Kirk Plunk. Tell me what you saw today. Uh, well, I saw like this Jesus dude riding into town on a donkey and like People were saying he was the Messiah. That's what I saw. Okay, why do you think this happened? Well, I try not to think because it hurts my brain. But what I heard is that people were saying the Bible says that this Jesus dude is going to have to die for our sin so we can be forgiven and brought back to God, something like that. That's right. I think I remember that scripture now. It's in Isaiah 53, six, and it says, all we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So, Jesus came to Jerusalem to die for our sin. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, sure. Well, thank you, Mr. Kirk Plunk, for clearing all this up. This is Dimwit reporting live. Back to you, has been. Thank you, Mrs. Dimwit, for that interview. I believe the picture is getting clearer and clearer now as the minutes tick by. And so I'd just like to recap. Oh, hold on, hold on. My producer's talking to me again. Yes? Yeah. Great, great. Folks, I I'm sorry. Things are just changing by, uh, by the second here. But I just learned that we have another video of those kids at the Salina Church of the Nazarene singing praises to Jesus. And so we are going to cut to that live right now. Well, what an exciting day, Mrs. Dimwit. I mean, the crowds, the music, the praise, and it's all because of Jesus. That's right, has been. I don't think we'll ever be the same. Jesus has changed my life, and I will forever praise mm. him. Not just on Palm Sunday, but every day. Yes, amen to that. As a matter of fact, my producers have told me we have one more song of praise for Jesus queued up. So why don't we play that right now?
Wow, I can't believe all that happened on Palm Sunday. What an amazing day yes. this has been. And you know, I just love watching Jerusalem Live. Oh, me too. Yeah. Dimwit is my favorite reporter. I think she's kind of cute. Oh, well, has been isn't bad either. Well, that's true. But I love what we can learn from the story yeah. today. That Jesus is worthy of our praise because he died for our sins. But before we sign off, I just want to give a big shout out to Ari and Renaya and Renee and also hi Trent, hi Blake. Well, and don't forget about Caden and hi. Phoenix and Cohen and Sloan out there. Bye. And hi Will and Levi and Samantha and it's good to see you Faith. Oh, and there's Matthew out there and Hunter and Roman and of course, can't forget about Ray. Ray. Hi, Ray. And remember, God yes. loves you mm -hmm. and is with you. And remember that we love you too. That's right. And we cannot wait until we can be back together again. Jesus is worthy of our praise. So pray to him and sing to him. Yes, amen. As a matter of fact, why don't we pray right now? Dear Jesus, thank you for dying for our sins. Thank you for being our Lord and Savior. And we ask, Lord, that you would be with every child that is listening and their parents. Father, just provide what they need and get us through this time. We're trusting in you as we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, until next time, uh, we will see you back Wednesday for Kids Club 6 o'clock. Have a great week. We love you.